We're going to take a moment. We're going to look at the website. If I go to the courses, you'll see. Now, you have to excuse a couple things. There's a couple things that are not available yet. These are all available. These are intense versions of what, if you've been on the old website, yes, Japan.com, this is a way better version of that. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this is out now in beta. Kanji from Zero Book Two will also be out here. These right here, not available yet. These are in the works. Then there's these kind of video courses that are partially here, little things that I've made from videos. These are from the video lesson. That was a video I went ahead and made like courses about it. We're right now in this version. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to this version right here. So you can see all the examples and stuff like that, explaining the things that I taught in those videos. But the main thing about this website, okay, is the, the book courses. So we have all of these book courses. So let's just jump into like level one here and we'll go to like this possession lesson and we'll just start jumping through the lesson. Just like the old Yes Japan, we can do progressive. This is all Romaji, this is progressive. Notice that at this point, these are the hiragana that we would know. So when I click that, it fills in the hiragana we should know by this point. Then you have the hiragana version. Then you have the kanji version. Now here's something, I'll zoom in and I'll show you something really, really cool that we couldn't do with Yes Japan. Right now, furigana visibility is set to 100%. Furigana right here is this little, these little hiraganas right here, but I can hide it. I can slowly make it disappear. I can make it really light so I can barely see it, or I can make it disappear 100%. Now watch what happens when I hover. Oops, I gotta be out of that window. When I hover, it shows what it is. That way I can practice reading and hover to get what it is. Watch this, chigaimasu. Hover, okay? Let's get to the lesson area. Okay, now I'm zoomed in pretty heavily here, okay? Tanaka-san desu. Hover, hover, hover. There's another cool feature that's beta. You can colorize the furigana, okay? I'm not sure, I might have to refresh for this. Nope, there it is. So that'll show if it's kunyomi or onyomi, okay? So far everything's been red. Probably have to get to a higher level. Let's see here. Sensei, come on. There we go, there's some blues. Okay, so that's, I believe blue was the onyomi, yep. Right now, of course, we could play sounds. Okay. We also have other voices that you can listen to. Okay. Now, every lesson has a quiz at the end. So when we get to the end, what does dare no kuruma desu ka mean? Dare no kuruma desu ka? Hmm. Whose car is it? Let's go with that. Yay, we nailed it. How would you say who is it in Japanese? Would that be nansai desu ka? Dare desu ka? Dore desu ka? Or nan desu ka? Nan desu ka? Dore desu ka? I'm gonna guess it's this one. Wow, I'm really good in Japanese. What best describes the function of the particle no? Hmm, it marks the subject? No, that's like ga. Shows possession? Hmm. Makes the sentence positive. Whoa, what is that? Makes it negative. I've never seen that before. Okay. How do you say I or me? Watashi. Boku. I'm gonna go with that one. Yay! Right? So there's quizzes now for everything. And let me show you the coolest thing is study mode. So you see in study... Oh, is, am I... Hang on, let me... Am I covering this? Hang on, give me a second. So if I go here and I do study mode, it defaults to showing only Japanese, okay? So now if I go to, let's go back to the, the lessons and I'll, I'll go to, we'll go a little bit higher, we'll go to the locations lesson, okay? Now in this mode, English is hidden. So now I can study what I've learned. So the first time around, you, you don't go to study mode. You keep it in normal mode. Now I'm like, okay, doko. What is that? I'm gonna hover to get the answer. Where, what place? Koko, here. Soko, there, right? Nihon, Japan, America, right? Now, every part of the lesson does that. And you can study. This is something the book cannot do. So let's go ahead and, and change the version back to something you could probably read. Okay, this is our, we'll just go to all Romaji. Onaka ga suite 
Of course, this gives a little bit of an answer down here, but you don't know the full answer right here. Boom. I'm hungry. Oki, oki kunai. Big, not big. Okay. Now we can switch it to show only English. Now I can guess the Japanese. Scroll down. Fruits are delicious, but I am full. Fruits ga oishii desu. Demo, onaka ga ippai desu. That's my guess. Yay. All right. So that's the coolest thing that you can do on fromzero.com. If you have not been up here, definitely check it out. There is also one more thing I want to show you. Again, I want, I want to apologize that I'm showing more courses that are actually not available yet, but they will be. There's this one right here. Kansai dialect. What? Yeah, this used to be something you paid 150 bucks for, but now we're teaching in 21 lessons Kansai dialect with my special host, Ami-chan. And it's a purely video course. Hey everybody, it's George Trombi with Kansai. Hi, hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Hey, that was a pretty good start. That was excellent. <laughs> Japanese from zero, and this is Kansai dialect from zero, where we learn how to speak. I love how excited Ami-chan is. Like a real Kansai native. We try at least a little bit. Today we're gonna to be talking about a really important one. This grammar will lead to many other grammars, so pay attention. This is negative verbs. We need this for many other things. Here we go, we're gonna do a- So what I do here in this course, I review a lot of what Japanese, standard Japanese is, hyojungo, and then I show you how that exact thing is done in Kansai dialect. And did you know Kansai dialect is one sixth of Japan. One in six Japanese people speak Kansai dialect. So that's another good reason just to come check it out. Check out from zero.com. Uh, Matthew says, great, was a bit on the fence about getting a subscription, but this really sells the website well. Dude, it's a fantastic website. Now, I was going through, I have hard drives and hard drives of videos, right? So I was looking for older live streams where I was talking about interesting things and I was cutting them up and putting them out. And I cannot tell you, I found so many of the planning videos for From Zero. We spent over $100,000 designing the current website. Now, it has morphed since then. It is not what we originally designed. It's, it's more than we did originally designed. But we spent two years with a design agency building From Zero. It is a huge, massive project. We have three full-time staff that all they do is develop the website. And that, that's full-time staff where their sole job is basically designing the website. But then you've got Justin's in there, Conoco's in there, I'm in there. We're all working on that website. It's a huge, huge project for us. The great thing about the website is we can deploy content quicker than a book, you know? Like I could, for example, put uh, Spanish from zero, uncomplete, like not finished version. We could put that up on the website before the book is done, because a book needs to be meticulously done. But we could do a lot on the website to say, hey, it's a beta, throw the beta tag up there, you know? Um, I think it's 1297. Um, let me let me check. This is the sales part of it. I think it's 1297. It is 1297, or you can go 129 for the year. But you can do the free one too and check it out. Can I do the lessons on my tablet? Yes, you can. The new website is designed for mobile. That's That was the biggest problem with the old website. Also gonna get the books because they look great. Thank you about that, Matthew. Um, Dejura says, it's a very clean site, bravo to the devs. I, I can't even tell you the amount of work that goes into this website. Shimewaza says, 1297 is very reasonable. Basically a lunch at McDonald's here in Cali. Isn't that crazy? How it used to be lunch was like six, seven bucks. Now it's double that. Affix says, the only closest thing to study mode in the book is in the Tango N5 N4 books where the text is red and you use the red filter to block it out. Yeah, I have a lot of books that do that. I would love to have made something like that. To, to be fair, though, I always think that's cool, but then I only use it once. I never go back to those red books. Uh, Saeed says, as a computer science bachelor, I totally understand the heavy work put into website. Oh, my God. I can't even tell you, like, like when we started working with the agency to develop the new website, it was already after two years of failed development on our own side. Like, I was already working hand-in-hand -hand with a developer, and just we couldn't get what we needed. We couldn't get it right. You know, I was the original developer of Yes Japan. I did all the work there and I wanted something better than what I had developed. And I just don't have the skill set to take it that level. But we were really, really uh, fortunate. Uh, there's a guy named Colton and Colton developed, the, he helped develop the CS50 uh, program over at Harvard. So he, he's game developer. This guy is absolutely the goat of developers. And he wanted to do... Uh, a book with us. He would do like a, I can't remember the programming language right now. 
Why am I thinking Phoenix? It's not Phoenix though. It's a programming language that he's really good at. I can't remember. Dang it, I can't. I wish I could remember. Someone will tell me in the, in the chat. But he kept pestering me, hey, I want to do this book from zero. I'm like, hey, don't got time to help you with that, bro. You know, I can't do it. But eventually I was just like, why don't you just come work for us, you know? And eventually it'll work out. And he's like, yeah, dude, it sounds great. And he's been with us now, I think, for like three or four years. He's been fantastic. So a lot of the really cool features are great. Also, if you know Mike, who is in the Adventures in Asia series with me, he's like the, the, the tall guy with like longish hair, my cameraman and my editor. He stopped working at Adventures in Asia and became a programmer on the website with zero knowledge. He didn't know how to do it. Now he's an amazing programmer. He's also one of the key programmers on the website. So Python, thank you, Python. I don't know why I was thinking like some other name, Python. Python from zero. Shimei Baza says, and the web development tools available back uh, were certainly not the level they are now. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy what they can do now. It would take me like, like a month of figuring something out. I was like, oh, there's a there's a thing for that. You can just do this right here. Boom, boom, boom. We plug into this API and we can do it. Like, no, I couldn't do that before. Anyway, guys, I didn't want to make this a long stream. I just wanted to show you the new covers. I, I absolutely love these book covers. If you want to see me do other live streams, every morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time, I do a live stream on the Polyglot George channel. And now we're doing going through the news in Japanese. And it's it's a it's cathartic for me. I'm learning new words myself, but you'll learn new words as well. There's no homework. There's no note taking. It's just us looking at the news and then surfing through what the news means. Sometimes like I learned about the Japan baseball series that I knew nothing about called Nihon S. Never heard of that before, but now I know it's the World Series for Japan. Didn't know that. Learned that from the news. Fun stuff. I'll talk to you next time. 